The Little Miss and Miss National Peanut Festival pageant goes beyond the glitz and glam. It's a competition where young women across the Southeast are empowered, involved, and act as a positive role model for all. News 4's Kinsley Sinners tells us how the system gives back to the wiregrass. Bela, the Miss National Peanut Festival pageant is a staple here in the Southeast, which all started more than 80 years ago with this purple dress. It was worn by Elizabeth Johnson, the first ever Miss Peanut from Headland, Alabama, the first queen to reign with many, many more to follow. Growing up, it was so surreal to watch other Miss National Peanut Festivals grace this role and impact the wiregrass in such a large way. Queens like Leah Whitehead, the newly crowned Miss National Peanut Festival from Jackson County. To me, it's the opportunity to just love on the people here and to show them God's love and to be a representative and to be someone that the little girls who were like me. She is not reigning alone. It means a lot because when I won, it was like, I was excited to represent the whole wild grass. The pageant builds a sisterhood, which instills good qualities on both sides. I believe that there are people who are outstanding role models in their community. They have great morals. There's someone that every little girl can look up to. I believe it's an opportunity for a little miss to have a big sister moment with another older adult and get to really see what the next step of life could look like for them as they grow into that next role. Planning for the pageant is not accomplished overnight. The mother-daughter duo co-directors Mary Grace and Angela Brandon says it's a year-round task. We have a big summer with the contestants. We come up with a theme, we design logos, we get all of their routines choreographed. So it's just a lot of fun. We get their trophies ordered. In the beginning, winners were sponsored by area businesses. The contestant who sold the most tickets to the festival won the title. As years went on, the pageant evolved. These girls go through a lot throughout their week and it's very rigorous competition. Awards are given that go beyond the crown and sash. Cash scholarships to the school of choice are awarded to the top five and category winners. During pageant weekend, contestants compete in categories like interview, evening gown, verbal communication, on stage questions, and even knowledge of peanuts. It takes a lot of self-discovery <laughs> and a lot of preparation. Competing in the Miss National Peanut Festival pageant is a family legacy for some. I'm just very proud of her. Like Leah Whitehead and her mother, Ramona Shelton. I was a contestant 30 years ago. Years filled the gap of their competition, but one goal stayed the same. For us, it's about representing where we're from. When I competed, I just wanted to represent my town and do the best job I could to represent the city where I was from and to do my community proud and my family proud. And that was her goal. She wanted to represent Jackson County the best way that she could. And now that she's Miss National Peanut Festival, she wants to represent this area in the best way that she can. Like Leah, Ada also experienced growth while preparing for the big event. I was excited. Tears were shed just to see the growth that she had and, and the confidence that she had in herself. It was beaming. The weekend was so much more than bringing home the title to Christy Donaldson. We just encouraged her that a crown on the heart is more important than the crown on the head and that just will help carry her through and to uplift her friends. The National Peanut Festival pageant puts agriculture at the forefront, staying true to the roots where it all began. They are a spokesperson for the agriculture peanut industry for the tri-state area of Florida, Alabama, and Georgia. I think that's one of the biggest things with being Miss and Little Miss National Peanut Festival. And community service isn't far behind. I handed out, like, the new military kids, I handed out a welcome back to Coffee County. And a few things that were in there where I made a book and I made a pocket hug for them that I sewed. I call it be a reader. I've always been really passionate about honeybees and agriculture. So I get to go to elementary schools and read them educational books about honeybees. And sometimes I even get the chance to plant wildflowers with them in their school gardens. It's a tradition, legacy, and honor here to stay. In Dothan, highlighting those who give back to the Wiregrass. I'm Kinsley Centers, your hometown news leader. And you can watch the Little Miss and Miss National Peanut Festival in the parade Saturday morning right here live on News 4.